Happening here with a new spring season comes new life and a show inside an already great event. We love this. The 68th annual Rhode Island Home Show kicks off at the Convention Center tomorrow, along with a feature that will really put some spark into your weekend. Here now to tell us all about the 5th annual Energy Expo happening within the Home Show are Laura Rodermer from National Grid and Carol Grant, Director of the Office of Energy Resources. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. So nice to have you here, Carol. Thanks. Laura, Good pleasure. Morning. Thank you. Lots to talk about. I was reading about, as it says here on page two, the <laughs> Energy Efficiency Showcase. I'd love to know really, uh, and I'm sure our viewers would, what this is all about. We're hearing so much about energy nowadays, just how important it is that we stay efficient within our own homes and offices. So this sounds like it falls right in line. As timely as today's headlines, what do we need to know? Happy to, to talk about it. It really feels like the perfect timing for the show after a rough winter. We're all hoping for spring, and so I think the show has lots of great features as we think about spring, but one of them is, as people think about their houses and their energy bills, thinking about what they could do in the next few months to be ready for next winter. Sorry to even mention it, but <laughs> Rhode Island has the, the third in the nation energy efficiency programs. It's one of the things we're great at in Rhode Island. It really is, and you mentioned you know, next winter, of course, it's all about preparation. It's all about doing our part to make sure that we're ready. Exactly. So you can never start too early, can right. you? And I think what's great about this year's show is that as people enter the show, they're going to see examples in front of them of exactly what they can do in their own homes if they haven't already. I'll let Laura talk a little bit about the, the setup of the energy efficiency exhibit. You're a master of the segue. I love that. Yeah, Laura, talk to us really about what we can expect when we come in that day or whichever day we decide to pop by the home show. Absolutely. So the four days that the home show is open and the energy expo. So customers will walk in and they'll see this great energy expo hall where there'll be um, um, the National Grid booth and there will be 11 different um, examples of what customers have in their home, whether it be uh, plugs and looking at uninsulated plugs and insulated plugs or looking at window air conditioners versus the heat pump mini splits. So looking, kind of comparing the inefficient versus efficient and what customers can get in terms of the uh, home energy assessment and the incentives that we offer. I think with anything in life, it really all starts with education. The more we know about something, the better determination we can make with regard to okay, is this right for my home? Is this right for me? Right. And all those questions can be answered, can't they? They can, and, and we really have the tools to help people make their own decisions um, and to be ready to do what's right for their homes. So we're are, very excited about that. Yeah, are the components interactive? Can we see and touch? Are, can we have that firsthand, you know, tangible experience? I haven't been there yet, but I'm told it's actually fun. Cool. It's sometimes hard to make energy efficiency fun, but I'm told this time that there are all kinds of ways to interact and actually see the difference between the energy that it takes for an LED light bulb and a regular light yeah. bulb and some other fun and I think that the exhibits are great because they do show kind of the, the hands-on um, experience for learning. And then customers actually this year, it's, it's a new experience for them, but they can walk to the Energy um, Innovation Hub, which is just down in the Dunkin' Donuts Center. And that is a hands-on experience where customers can see what energy looks like Fantastic. by switching on uh, all the different switches for a fan or a vacuum. And they can actually see energy and understand how it impacts their bill. Well, it's great stuff. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful show. You know, a lot of people call me Mr. Energy. Just letting you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Great pleasure to have you here. Best of luck at the Home Show. We'll even be there live Friday. Great. And you guys out there will want to stick around because we will have much more on the Rhode Island Home Show coming up throughout our show today. And welcome back, everybody. Earlier in the show, we learned about the Energy Expo happening uh, within this weekend's Rhode Island Home Show at the Convention Center. Also happening within the event, the AARP Livable Home Solutions Hub and the RI Living Resource Center. Here to tell us all about those great events, John Martin from AARP and Joe DeLuca, president of the Rhode Island Association of Retailers. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in here today. We were talking just, uh, just a little while ago, uh, John about how important it is for folks, they, they think AARP, but AARP has some incredible programs that really can help folks not just 65 and older, but even younger. Well, our Livable Communities initiative really is about building a place where you want to live. And why not start building that in your 50s mm -hmm. so that when you reach retirement, uh, you're good to go. So one of the things that we have is our home fit guide for making age-friendly modifications in the home. And you work with this guide with a contractor and you
you can see some improvements that make uh, homes more safe. And another important issue that we're uh, working with is uh, a new grant to make home modifications for people who are caregivers, care caregivers for others sure. who have needs uh, that can be accommodated by modifications such as roll-in showers, uh, uh, grab bars, ramps, and other um, improvements in the home. And there is a $5,000 matching grant now available from the state of Rhode Island, so we're telling people about that. Well, I think that's, a, that's, that's so, it's such a great program because uh, whether you're a caregiver or someone who wants to stay in their exactly. home, you may not know where to turn. And, and you don't want to leave your house, and if it's just something as, as simple as, you know, a shower that you can get into, that may be the difference of staying in your home or not staying in your home. Exactly, and one of the other benefits is some people who cannot stay in their homes end up in nursing homes that are supported by Medicaid, and mm -hmm. that's state taxpayer dollars. So if people want to remain in their homes, not only we're, we're, we're helping them, you know, live the life that they want to live, but right. we're also, we're creating uh, housing stock that accommodates older people as that property moves on, and we're also potentially saving taxpayer dollars by keeping some people uh, who otherwise would be in Medicaid-supported right. nursing homes. And Joe, your, your organization is going to be part of this too. Tell us what you folks will be doing to help these people. Well, we have the, the RI Living uh, Real Estate Resource Center, and that offers all kinds of services for homeowners, or people who are looking to uh, step up. If they're looking to determine what the value is of their home, we have uh, those services there. It's going to be staffed by realtors. Our affiliate members will have people there who can help with financing, uh, pre-sale pre inspection, post-sale inspections, and uh, lots of other services to help folks maximize the value when they buy or sell a home all right well it's a good place to be one stop shopping for all of this <laughs> all of this information and stick around because in a little bit we're going to get the scoop on the uh, the flower and garden show happening within this event as we've been telling you all morning the 68th annual Rhode Island home show is coming back to town and with it the return of an event that is just blooming with the season. Here to tell us all about the second annual Rhode Island Flower and Garden Show are Gianna Paglarini, uh, Haas of Central Nurseries, and Blakely Sauce, president of the Rhode Island Federation of Garden Clubs. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. This is such a fantastic time. We're talking about flowers and gardens. It just makes you want to get out there and start working on your own. Uh, Gianna, tell us about the gardens that we can expect this year and what Central Nurseries has done. Which, by the way, you got a beautiful place over at Central Nurseries. Oh. It always puts me in a good mood when I go there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, we're really excited this year. We have over 10,000 square feet of gardens. We brought in over six large truckloads of plant material. So wow. it's really full and it really feels like spring. And you have the crew th available there as well to really answer any questions because even though a plant might look nice, it might not work for someone's lawn. Yeah, I mean, not everything is right for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to take into consideration sunlight and spacing, and there's all sorts of things, but we can certainly help you find what's right for you. It's nice when you go to an event like this to really get the knowledge, because like you said, you might be spending so much money on a plant and then it dies two weeks later. If you just moved it over a little bit, yeah. it could have thrived. Yeah, it's an investment. It certainly is, You and you go for that curb appeal too. You yeah. want the house looking great. Oh yeah. Blakely, the flower show. Yeah. is also a big part of it. I know many people may be starting to even see those crocuses pop up. But tell us about what's, what's new this year. Well, this is something that we love to do. So the fact that we can reach out and have an audience of thousands to appreciate it mm -hmm. makes it really special for us. I think combining the flower show with a home show is very unique, mm -hmm. but I don't know why it would be unique. It's a given. You know, it's a perfect pair. Do you find that people um, have come up to you in the past with, with interest, thinking, I, I wasn't here for this reason, but now that I see your display, yeah, yeah, I want to come over? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, connecting people with the great outdoors and getting them to unplug is a big goal for us, and I think you're going to find that at the show this year. Yeah. We have an educational display that's uh, connecting youth to nature mm -hmm. where they're building fairy houses and that that of course oh, it gets the adults engaged as well yeah. yeah and this is something that really the whole family can take part in right whether oh, it's yeah. the garden or their floral arrangements I mean, you can get the whole family involved and get their say absolutely but fun for all ages it sounds like a great event and like you said the space is so appealing 10,000 feet oh yeah of garden square feet yeah it's, there. it's big it's the whole side of the convention center um it's exciting we're excited yeah well we're happy that you guys are part of it thank you so much for coming in and sharing a bit more of what we can expect to see while we're there thank you don't miss the 68th annual Rhode Island home show it kicks off tomorrow at the Rhode Island Convention Center and on Friday's show as Brendan mentioned we're going to be there live for a look at all the action